Hey, this summer, emergency responders are getting more heat-related emergency calls. Five News reporter Malia Musamato found out what the Fayetteville Fire Department recommends to keep from overheating. Heat-related emergencies are becoming more common with these higher temperatures. So I talked to one of the fire chiefs to find out just how people can stay safe and cool this summer. Dehydration is one of the number one causes of heat-related emergencies, so they recommend always staying hydrated. They said to make sure to drink plenty of water and stay away from energy drinks. They also recommend giving yourself a work rest cycle for being out in the heat so you can monitor your body temperature. And if you're going outside, the differing temperatures can be a shock to your body. You also want to um, try to acclimate yourself to the heat. You don't want to sit inside all day long and then jump right out and do a uh, hardcore workout or go out and, you know, push mow the yard or something like that, you know. So you want to acclimate yourself slowly to the heat. Even though they have seen an increase in heat-related emergencies, surprisingly, they see more cases when the heat is around 95 degrees as opposed to more extreme heat in the hundreds. They said it's because more people tend to stay inside on those days and are extra cautious. So make sure to take precautions on all these hot summer days, no matter the temperature. Remember, if you're working outside this summer, take breaks so your body can keep from overheating. In Fayetteville, covering news where you live, Malia Masamoto, 5 News. All right, thanks Malia. Now all summer long, you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest temperatures and receive notifications about heat advisories where you live. Just download our free smartphone app.